in just a year. Morgan Wallen has made quite a name for himself in the country music world, thanks to the way he sings and, as he puts it, the way he talks. <laughs> currently on tour with Luke Bryan and Sam Hunt, and they are playing tonight in Toronto, and he is with us in studio this morning. Welcome to your morning. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good, but I feel like I need to <laughs> slow down how I talk. We were chatting in the break. We're going to work on it. All right, we'll work on it. You're from originally from Sneedville, Tennessee. Where is that? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> it's a eastern, northeastern part of Tennessee, so it, you can kind of get to Virginia or Kentucky or obviously Tennessee, they're all within like 45 minutes of, of there, so northeastern part, and uh, moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, which may be a little more notable to, to people, but that's, that's what I consider my hometown. All right, there was a reason that you wanted that song that we just played to be your very first single. What was the thought behind that one being the first one? Yeah, well, growing up, I never really left the South, a little bit. I can hear that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I, I started traveling and, and uh, spent some time, like eight months in California. And How was that for you? I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. But I got to see how different things are, even in, even in my own country, you know? So like going over there and seeing how different, and I would talk and people would be like, oh my God, where are you from? <laughs> and so just a lot of conversation starters and things like that. and I, and I. I I realized just how proud I was uh, of who I am and, and where I'm from, so kind of wanted the world to know that. I love that. Uh, you said you your album's very upbeat. It's called If I Know Me. It's full of fast, what you call country jammers. <laughs> how do you write a good country jammer? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do, but I think, my, well, with me, my music is always going to reflect where I am a, as a person and where I'm at in life, so that's kind of where I am. I, I'm happy. I, I feel good. And uh, that's just that's just what I wanted my album to reflect. I mean, there's a couple songs on there that, that I wrote when I first moved to Nashville that, that aren't necessarily that. But as time progressed, that's that's where I am. So hopefully I'll just always write what I, what I, what I feel. I don't know, Morgan, if you've watched the show Nashville, but I'm a big fan of the TV show Nashville, yeah. which is all about people moving to Nashville and becoming country stars. Do you feel like that's reflective of you a little bit? Yeah, I haven't seen the show, but you know, I, I'm not sure. It's it's like everything. I'm always so focused on what I'm going to do next, what song I'm going to write next, or you know, what single we're going to pick, or or whatever it is. I don't I don't do a whole lot of reflecting on on it. Uh, your song "Up Down" with Florida Georgia Line recently certified gold. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what advice have have the boys given you? I don't. We haven't necessarily sat down and had like a talk. You know. No. No heart to heart. No. No. But. I think just being able to watch them and, and see how successful they are, but also how focused they remain, uh, I think that's the, the biggest thing I've taken from them. You know, I, at this point, they could coast, you know, probably, you know, through their career, but they, they just keep, keep writing and, and stay so, so hungry. I, you know, I'm just Canada's getting to know you, so let them, let them get to know you. You're the son of a preacher, born and raised in Tennessee. You are a baseball player. Mm -hmm. before you hit the country music stage. Always sang in church, but before this track, you were on track to be a baseball star. What happened? Yeah, well, I got hurt right, right before I was supposed to play in college. And, you know, at the time, I'm like, why? Why this? Because that was like, baseball was kind of like my first love, I guess, you know? I, I, I spent a lot of time from the time I was four years old. Um, that was all, pretty much all I did. Wow. So it was a, it was kind of a shock, you know. What was, what, what am I going to do now? So I went from one crazy dream to another. That's <laughs> incredible. It's such a great story. Listen, that has led you to this summer, where you are going to be performing in big stadiums. What are you looking forward to with those crowds? Yeah. So this one and uh, tomorrow in in Toronto is my first time ever playing a stadium or or anything even in that. This is your first time? Yeah. In Toronto. So I don't really know, but. We've uh, we've been doing our own like headlining thing in in uh, the spring, and kind of you know figuring out which songs we like to play best live, and you know which ones we feel like connect the most with fans. So we'll just try to do that on a bigger scale, I guess. We're a very lovely crowd here in the city of I can Toronto, see that. right across Canada. Listen, we like the way you talk. We like the way you <laughs> sing better. Thanks for coming on your morning Thank today. Thank y'all.